What up YouTube, bad news. <laughs> my car died at my house, the battery won't start. So I couldn't go to work, which is kind of unfortunate. <laughs> so I'm here, walk into a cafe. I'm gonna work from home, technically. It's like my home. But yeah, so this is how it feels to work from home. <laughs> Yeah, so this is the famous place where I study every single night or when I edit code. I've been going here for like five years, but this is my home. This is really it. I get to work from home. The person that works here can't see me. Ah, she doesn't see me. It's about 11 a.m. I am still the only one. No one has came to this cafe at all. Check it out. No one. And it's really warm. They don't really turn on the AC here, which sucks, but it's okay. Fast internet. As of right now, I'm just making registration pages as usual. I'm working on a landing page still, answering emails, and I'm melting because of how hot it is. Help. <laughs> all right, YouTube. So it is about 12 p.m. Still working the same stuff, and I think one thing I want to talk about, it, and I think it's very interesting because even within the industry, even within companies, believe it or not, even when you join a company, you'll actually see people do the exact same thing. What people are trying to imitate, and, and what I call it, I think I call that the the programmer imposter syndrome, imposter, the code, the code, the imposter syndrome, where you pretty much try to pretend that you know what you don't know. Where you try to pretend that you're really good when in reality you're really not that good and so even when you work in an actual company well what happened is that people would act the exact same way where let's say let's say there's an intern or let's say there's a new employee at my company or at other companies and what would happen and what tends to happen and what i've seen from experience and speaking with so many people from all around the world because of my channel is that a lot of times when someone joins a company they try to pretend like they're really good when they're not they try to pretend that they know more than they actually really do but in the end what that normally does that it hurts that person uh, it hurts that person themselves that's trying to be someone they're not uh, what happens is that your ego starts getting big you start thinking you deserve everything you start treating people badly you start putting people down because you think you're better than really in reality you're really not um, it's very true that developers are always in need and we always need more developers uh, at every company but what can happen is if you keep thinking that way Without realizing it you can easily also be replaced so I think that's something that we have to keep in mind keep our you know our, our pride at the door whenever you go into a company whenever you go to work every day whenever you talk to other programmers it's not about who knows more but really the best programmers are those who work best and work well with a team and that's what we need at every company so don't ever have the imposter syndrome don't ever try to pretend and be someone you're not or try to copy someone be who you are find out who it is that you really are be honest be humble and keep hustling but all right i gotta go back to work just wanted to take a five minute break all right guys see you later all right youtube so i am leaving boboloka uh, a triple a came by and they were able to recharge my car so i'm able to drive again um so i'm gonna go ahead it's lunchtime. it's about 2 p.m I was coding literally non-stop from 10 p.m. 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Working all the pages that I need to work on. Crazy, my brain's exhausted. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and drive to Midori, and she's about 15 miles away. So I'm gonna drive to her, have a quick lunch, and honestly, that's one of the benefits of working from home. Honestly, um, I I just I love working from home. You are more productive if you actually work at the office, but for me, generally, I honestly think that I work much faster when I work at my house if I work here at my favorite cafe um, and I think nothing really beats that and I, I feel that I am much more productive but I mean I do like working at the office um, my co-workers are really fun they make work even that much more fun like I shared earlier coding isn't just an individual job I guess you could say yeah that, that is true when you are you know a freelance developer and you work on your own 
but programming is all about teamwork and working together to get something done and as a team you're able to get things done more quickly so yeah although i do love working by myself and it's i get i'm able to focus more i get in that like laser zone you know like that i'm able to focus like crazy um I do miss being at the office. <laughs> so I do look forward to coming back to the office tomorrow, throwing more dollars at Tony, making fun of him, picking on everyone and getting picked on and yeah. But all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and drive. I'm gonna meet up with Midori. Here we go. I could travel a thousand miles just to feel your arms around me. We're gonna go to the tomato grill, uh, have a quick lunch, see Midori for a little bit, and then I have to go back to work. Uh, one of the great things about uh, even working remotely or working from home is that I was just in a city about 15 to 20 miles away, and now I'm, I drove 20 miles to have lunch with Midori, and now I'm 10 minutes away from my actual destination. After work, which usually takes 30 minutes to drive to, so I save a lot of time, have a lot of freedom, and now it's time to see Midori. Are you okay? I could use help. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what the price is. I want Miguel's. Because your beard is crazy. Is my beard really that bad? That's so... You work... This is only two days later. So we are here at Miguel Jr. I got a chicken burrito with guac. And yeah. What, what's Miguel Jr. known for? What makes him. Burritos. They're just known for the burritos? That's the main thing. So, Mitari, what did you get? Original chicken. Original chicken? What did I get? Um, the, the garbage one. <laughs> Alright, so what I got, Midori, she got a. Regular burrito, I got, it's called a garbage burrito, but it's not as garbage as they say. It just means they added more stuff into it, like guacamole and stuff, and this is it. I cannot eat this whole thing. I'll probably eat only half of it. So what are you about to do? I'm about to film you eating your first bite of a Miguel's Junior Burrito. You know where, who I think has the best burritos in the world? Chipotle. Okay, I'm ready. All right, let's try it. Ready, set. Pass or fail? <laughs> what the heck? That good. That's sad. But alright YouTube, so we just left Miguel's Jr. Uh, the Buddha place was okay, it wasn't that good. I just got a Norm's, check it out. I'm just gonna start working on code as usual. So, gotta work on some more JavaScript, more jQuery. I'm literally across the street from my original destination where I usually go after work. So. I could work and code longer and not have to try to worry about rushing through traffic. Perfect. So uh, this is usually how it goes for me when I work from home, when I work from, the off uh, from a coffee shop rather than at the office at work, which is about 15 to 20 miles away. I save a lot of time. It's a lot more convenient and I get a lot more work done. I, my lunches are different and it's just nice. It's like, nice to have that alone time also. So, But yeah, I mean, I, I think working remotely is really fun. Uh, if you're able to get a job that allows you to work remotely, it is amazing. It's nice. It's you have so many things you could do. I could literally travel to New York if I want and still work. I could literally travel the whole world if I wanted and still work. So um, this is something that's really like, man. If you guys want to try it out, get a remote job. It is great, although it is really hard, honestly, to get a job as a remote developer. So if you ever had an opportunity, try it out just to see how it is. Maybe if when you do get hired, ask your boss if you could work from home for once and just see how there is to. And <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> but do you, do, do you have to do a take two now? <laughs> no. We are going grocery shopping. What time is it? 11 p.m. Yeah. <laughs> Where are we going? Come back. Wait, what are you doing? Alright YouTube, 
this will be the end of the vlog. We went to Ralph's, had some good food, and she's still eating <laughs> that. That. Green so beans. thank you guys for watching. We're out. This is Krishan. It's the life of a web developer and his girlfriend. And we're out. Thank you for watching. Bye. my heart. Let me be as gold and precious silver. Purify my heart. Let me be as gold. Pure gold. Refiner's fire. My heart's one desire is to be. Just to be holy, set apart for you, my master, ready to do your will, ready to do your will. Bow, bow, bow. Ready to do your will. <laughs> okay, thank you.